Hi, how y'all doing today? I wanted to encourage anybody to please leave your hometown, you know? Leave your hometown, do it expeditiously. Before you can leave your hometown physically, you have to leave it mentally, okay? A prophet, this is, I'm gonna start this off with Mark 6, verse four. But Jesus said unto them, a prophet is not without honor, but in his own country and among his own kin and in his own house. Y'all, the people who know you, the people who grew up with you, your family, the people who live down the street from you in your neighborhood, the people who were sitting next to you in class, the people who graduated with you, all the people who know you, who are familiar with you personally, they will never respect you. They will never have honor for you. They will never accept your value. They will never accept what God is doing in you and through you. And honestly, I don't really, I don't think that this is just referring to prophets or a, a spiritual leader of some sort. Honestly, to me, I think this can pertain to anybody. Take a lot of these rappers, for example, y'all. These rappers could be on tour and they can perform in so many different places. But the day that they come back to their hometown to perform will be the time that they get shot. So that just shows you right there that this can really be anything. If you have a particular talent or gift or business idea or any type of vision that God has placed inside of you, you have got to leave your hometown. You gotta do it because the support you're looking for is not in your hometown. It never will be. And this is not my opinion, this is Bible. Jesus said this. He literally said this in Mark, Matthew, and Luke. He said this three times, and who knows, he probably said it in John, but I gotta go back and check. So he, he placed extra emphasis on this scripture. If God has placed a vision inside of you, you don't have to just be a prophet, even though this is particularly talking about prophets. Like I said, it can be any vision, any vision. You have got to leave your hometown because the honor, the respect, the support that you're looking for, it will never be in your hometown because the people who know you, they cannot, they cannot get over who you used to be. They can't get over um, what you used to do. They can't get over who you lo used to look like even. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you could have grown and changed physically. You could have grown and changed spiritually. You could have grown and changed financially. It could be anything. The people in your hometown, the people who know you, they can't get past your old self. They'll never be able to get past it, ever. That's why they'll never support you. A lot of the times, these people will actually despise you more than anybody. And, you know, it, it is what it is. It's just the rules to life. The people who are going to help you grow and, you know, help you receive the vision that's in your mind, like who will help you get to that destination, it's always going to be a stranger. God will always send strangers to you to help you, period. He did it with me. A lady, she know who she is. God used this woman to inspire me to even begin doing what I'm doing. This was God's idea for me to start doing this and try to expand every platform that I have. He told me to start doing this because I didn't have, I was kind of scared. I was scared. I was like, Lord, I don't know. Like, I don't want to try that. He used a woman that I don't even know to inspire me to begin. It wasn't nobody I know, knew, excuse me, knew. It, it was a complete stranger. So please listen to what I'm saying to you. The support and the love and the honor that you're looking for, the, the result that you're looking for is not in the people that you know, and it never will be. It never will be. Please listen to me. 
I think the people, I think one of the main reasons why the people who know you and, who, you know, who grew up with you, the people in your hometown, um, I think one of the main reasons why these people don't support you the most is because you had the momentum and the courage to just take the risk to pursue what you want in your life. And they, they're not, they're not doing it. You get what I'm saying? They didn't have the courage to take the risk. So they look at you, you know, they despise you because they may have been sitting next to you in class, you feel me? And you're, you're, you're pursuing your dreams and they're not pursuing their dreams. So they, they'll never be able to accept the fact that somebody that they were that close to, you feel me, that they knew had the courage to become something greater. They, they just can't, they cannot get past it. They cannot get past it. And the thing is, everybody, the Bible says many in many places that everybody has gifts, everybody has talents. A lot of these people in your hometown, y'all, it's not that they don't have a vision. Well, a lot of them probably don't have a vision, but it's not that deep down that they don't have something that they want to pursue. It's just that they, they have not prayed and asked God to give them the courage to pursue that vision. They are so afraid to take the risk they're so afraid of what people may say or what people may think. The people in your hometown, they hold you back more than anybody. Your family, the people who live down the street from you, like I said, the folks you went to school with, etc. These people will hold you back if you let them. You can't ever let them. That's why I'm continuously doing even what I'm doing, even though I don't see, you know, the end result of what I want it to look like yet, it's okay because I'm not discouraged or encouraged by whether or not the people in my hometown support me or not because I know they never will because it's in the Bible. <laughs> it's in the Bible. And like I said, y'all, you know, you got to have, you got to be passionate about whatever you're pursuing too. Don't just be doing something because you, you're solely trying to make money or you're solely trying to gain clout. Do it because it's something that God has given you the green light to do, okay? Because he'll bless you for it. That's all I wanted to say in this video. This is confirmation for whoever may have needed to see this today. If you're trying to pursue anything, any dream, any vision, any business idea, anything like that, go do it. Leave your hometown and don't look back. Don't feel bad for leaving either. Don't feel bad and don't look back. Leave expeditiously because the honor and the respect is never gonna be found in your hometown. They will never respect you. They will never honor you and they will never be able to accept your value or what God is doing through you. I'm gonna read this one more time. Mark 6, verse 4. A prophet is not without honor, but in his own country and among his own kin and in his own house. And that's Jesus. God bless y'all.